Dr. Murat. One person who was really dedicated to the veterinary profession was Dr. Murat. We became friends many, many years ago when I was a young researcher and Murat practiced veterinary medicine at the zoo in our native city. And this provincial zoo had very poor professional equipment among empty drug shelves and terrible living conditions for numerous animals. Most creatures had come to the zoo without any preliminary planning and the city was a kind of, of service camp for the big seaport and sailors from all over the world brought exotic animals there. So in treating those animals, Murat was not only lacking special equipment but also any manuals for the animal's treatment. It was before the internet era, so Murat has no opportunity to seek advice about how to treat such creatures. Murat has developed his own methods in order to save the lives of animals completely unknown to the Russian veterinarian field. Monkeys, uh, kinjurao, snakes, crocs, etc. And mostly he did this rather successfully. I think his main weapon in the struggle for the well-being of the unusual animals was his love. Sometimes I help him. As a biologist, physiologist and biochemist with success, with access to various drugs in the laboratory, I work in some military pharmaceutical research center. During that time, I became his advisor. I used my general knowledge on how organism works and what evolution similarities exist between common and exotic animals to help him navigate in this new terrarium. To be honest, this was not all one side. Uh, uh, sometimes I got ad ad advances from our friendship and partnership to Marat let me test new drugs on zoo animals. Please keep it a secret. This thus I got from him a chance to try new antidepressants, sedations and contra-aggressive agents on foxes, wolves and even lions. Later, this preliminary test was helpful for me to, in developing methods for controlling the behavior of non-domestic animals and mix folks and other for animals for fur farms. As I mentioned, this probe also allowed me to discover the appetite-stimulating effects of volume-like drugs. My discovery came long before these effects became common knowledge, and. Although I did not gain any profit or even respect for it, it still pleased my self-esteem. Extreme, my self-esteem. It seems to me all the animals in the zoo had tears in their eyes when Marat had to leave his position because his family decided to immigrate. Although he was good-hearted to that with the ability to develop new medical approaches. Murat had little at art institute for learning the new language. So in the new home, the family moved to LA. Murat's first job was to clean cages at the zoo. There are many other ways to make a living in LA, even without English, but he preferred to be close to zoo animals. It took 10 years uh, before Murat started to understand English and to reach some sort of professional level. Finally, he passed all the necessary tasks, exams and formal requirements to become a vet. Until his recent retirement, Murat practiced veterinary medicine in California and later in Florida. He earned big respect among those who needed his service. The engine for Murat's success was love for his profession, not money.